Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Buttons are great, and we all love them. It's why people get so excited when they come by my desk and see me working on this. Buttons are a great way to interface with your project. They can be simple and straightforward, or they can be used to add a bit of zhuzh to your project. Of course, oftentimes, to get them to work as needed, you need to worry about debouncing, pulling, pull-up resistors, and if you want to make them blink in any good way, then you're talking about more wiring, more coding. Well, we have a better solution. Introducing the SparkFun Quick Button. The Quick Button is much more than just another button. This is a button with a brain. It's got an onboard ATtiny84A, making it smart and cool. This allows for things like software configurable I2C addresses, so you can use multiple Quick Buttons simply by daisy chaining them together and assigning a unique I2C address to each. The button itself is illuminated and can be easily programmed to illuminate when you want, how you want. The 12mm red LED button is rated for 50 milliamps and can easily be configured to your desired level of blinkiness. It also offers configurable interrupts and a first in first out cue. If red doesn't suit the style of your project, we also offer the quick button board without the button. You can then buy a button that will illuminate in blue, green, or white. You'll have to do a little soldering for those, but it's super simple and will allow you to really personalize the buttons on your project. Buttons are great for triggering events like illuminating an LED. Of course, since this button has its own internal LED, using an external one may seem somewhat superfluous. But what else could we do with our little button? Follow me, I have an idea. Now this is more like it. Let's use this button for something cool. Five meters for safety. Of course, with this launch system, I could go up to 1.6 kilometers and be fine. Ready? Whoop. Better take the safety top, top off. All right, I think we're good for go. A little worried about low and mid-level wind. There's a cloud cover, but I think we'll be all right. Standing by and sending now. There we go. We've initiated it. We get five blinks of the red LED, and then we get our 10-second countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, ignition. No ignition. Ah, oh, this is heartbreaking. Okay, uh, first we'll disconnect our button to make sure there's no accidental triggering. And it looks like We may have had an igniter issue. That's what it was supposed to do. So are you a form follows function or a function follows form type of designer and builder? Well, either way, it doesn't matter because with the new SparkFun Quick button, this will make improvements to both of those. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. Turning on an external one may seem kind of superfluous. Superfluous. Tactile way to add, shoot, input? A great tactile way to interface. Turning on an external one may seem kind of superfluous. Bit, 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 bit. Superfluous. Sir, sir, su, sir. Because with this new quick button, it's, ah, oh, dang it, so close. Oh, really close. Good enough.